Hello and good evening, bronies and Pegasisters. I am Frostcloud on my Mr. Chaos the Cunning Wolf channel. After two more viewings of Granny's Gone Wild after my initial viewing during my reaction to it last Saturday, I definitely ranked this episode higher than the previous episode, Fake It Till You Make It. It was funny, and had morals that I admire seeing coming from MLP. The comedy in this episode is really funny. The age gap flirting jokes, the disembodied Applejack head constantly reminding Rainbow Dash about the rules, and just all four of the Granny characters in general. Throughout most of my two more viewings of this episode, I always found myself laughing, or at least grinning a little bit during a lot of the lines. I actually find the comedy in this episode to be a little funnier than the comedy in Fake It Till You Make It. I very much admire the morals in this episode, such as Elders are not always boring sticks in the mud, the difference between being protective and overprotective, and making the best out of a seemingly sticky situation. Now, I have some thoughts on Applejack regarding this episode, and they're not negative. The responsibility that Applejack gave Rainbow Dash actually felt justified and understandable. Isn't that right? Fake it till you make it. Why am I referring to that episode so much? I don't know. Anyway, it makes sense that Applejack would give Rainbow Dash a list of strict rules to follow on the trip to Las Pegasus. Granny Smith, Aunt Applesauce, Apple Rose, and Goldie Delicious are parts of the Apple family. Applejack loves her family and cares about their safety, so it's very understandable that Applejack would write a list of strict and seemingly ridiculous rules for the trip. One last thing I definitely will say is that I can actually relate to Rainbow Dash in this episode. I used to think that elders were nothing but boring people who never had interesting things to say or do. But nowadays, due to the fact that I hate this generation, I enjoy an elderly friend's company a lot more than I used to in my younger days. Just like Rainbow Dash, over a varying amount of time, I eventually did learn to find good in the elderly. I may not consider this episode to be the best in the series, but I consider it to be a very memorable one, and I do see myself revisiting this episode someday. Out of 10 paws, I give this episode 10. Remember, everything said in this video is only my opinion. Simple as that. As always, my name is Frostcloud, thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful evening. Broha.